later in July, about the 23rd, Australian troops were sent in to this part of the line. This is Pozier. This is the highest point on the entire Somme battlefield. And where I'm standing now is the remains of the old windmill. This had stood here for centuries in the town of Pozier. And the Germans had turned this into a defensive position. Machine guns, mortars all around. And there were two lines of trenches out in the fields in front of us. Now the Aussies had quite a task on their hands to come in and seize this high ground. So the Australians came in on the 23rd of July. They fought up until the beginning of September. And during that time, they lost 23,000 men in the fields around us. This is the most costly battlefield in the history of Australia. The other thing that makes this spot so special is this was the place where tanks were first used in battle. During the Battle of the Somme in September 1916, tanks attacked from this position. And this is the memorial that tells their story. This is the tank memorial. And as you can see, it's got these quite wonderful miniatures of tanks all around. It's also got, if I show you over here, this fence is made up. These are actually gun barrels from First World War tanks. And this is drive chain from the tank. So the memorial itself is part of a tank. And the other thing that I think is fascinating about this spot is this road, the main road behind us, was the road that the Germans used as they rolled through France in 1940. And these First World War memorials were not immune from that fighting. And this tank over here even has bullet damage from fighting here in World War II. So this place suffered during the First World War and it suffered again during the Second World War. This poor old corner of France was never far away from the action. I'm Matt McLaughlin, and thanks for watching Living History TV. Don't forget to subscribe for more great history content.